Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Vietnam Visa channel. And I'm Kim Dong. I've been working for eight years as a Vietnam Visa consultant. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about the process of getting Vietnam Visa for Pakistani citizens. So actually, the visa requirement is definitely different depending on what type of visa you would like to get. Just to be clear in this video, I would be working you through steps to get a Vietnam tourist visa, specifically for the holiday and vacation in Vietnam. So if you're interested in, keep watching it. When you're planning to to Vietnam, the first thing comes to your mind is how to get a visit visa. What a visa method is the simplest, easiest, cheapest, and of course, lesser to go for. So that's the extent to think that's way right. So guys, as a Pakistani citizen, there are two lesser methods for you to apply for Vietnam tourist visa. If you prefer to have a visa sticker stamped on the passport before traveling to Vietnam, you can visit Vietnam Embassy to submit the visa application. But what if there's no Vietnamese embassy in your location or you just live very far from the embassy? So don't worry because the visa and arrival is an alternative option in this way. So this method is considered as the best option for the most visitors, including the Pakistani, due to its convenience. So for the sake of the length of the video, I'm just going to give you a complete guidance about the Vietnam visa and arrival, which is favorably chosen by the Pakistani visitor when they come to visit Vietnam. One of the most important things you need to know is the visa validity. What has become valid and expired? Currently, the length of stay in Vietnam is very limited when it comes to tourist visa. So as a Pakistani citizen, you just allow to stay in Vietnam up to 15 days or 20 days is the maximum for the tourism purpose. So the visa validity will start from the entry date and end on the exit date as indicated in the visa approval letter or the visa stamp. So don't assume that the visa of validity will start from the actual travel date to Vietnam. So that's often mistakenly understood by some of the visitor. So please keep that in mind to avoid wasting the visa. When it's come to Vietnam visa and arrival, there's a very important document you must have on hand before traveling to Vietnam, which is the Vietnam visa approval letters, also known as the invitation letter. This letter is technically issued by the Vietnam Immigration Department, so, but you have to obtain it through a visa or travel agency. So who can help you to deal with the Vietnam immigration to get a visa approval letter issued? So as a Pakistani citizen, to apply for Vietnam approval letters, you need to gather and provide all the doc uh, all supporting documents, including a copy of the passport, a reservation of the flight ticket and hotel, the travel itineraries in Vietnam, and your travel history, like all the pays with the visa records, your entry and exit to the country you ever visit in the past. For the processing time of getting visa approval letter, it normally takes about 10 working days to get a visa letter issued by the Vietnam Immigration Department. So you always recommend to confirm the flight ticket and the hotels once your visa approval letter is issued. After you got a visa approval letter, the remaining part of the visa arrival procedure becomes easier. So you just need to print out a, a, a visa approval letter and fly into Vietnam. So when you are landing at Vietnam airport, you just need to go to immigration counters and present your passport with the copy of the visa letter, a completed visa application form, two private safe photo, pay stamping fee at the immigration counter, and wait for the 10 to 15 minutes to get a visa stamp on the passport. So when you got the visa stamp, please double check all the information on the visa to make sure that everything is totally correct. So now I'm going to talk about the type of visa fee involved in Vietnam visa on arrival. So there are two mandatory fees you need to pay uh, for the Vietnam visa on arrival. The first one, the Vietnam visa approved letter fees, which might be different from one agency to another. So there's no fixed cost for the type of fee. And the second fee is a standing fee, with a pay at the Vietnam airport, uh, it is affected by the Vietnam Immigration Department. So it's been called 25 US dollar for a single entry and 50 US dollar for the multiple entry. So this fee must be paid in cash because there's no ATM machine at the immigration area or no payment card accepted by the immigration officer. So you remember this fee should be paid in US dollar and it's that amount to avoid the bad exchange at the airport. 
So that's the only tale about required visa documents procedure visa fee that we think is necessary for the Pakistani passport holder to know before you start to apply for Vietnam visa on arrival. So I hope you learned a lot from this video. If you have more questions, just feel free to comment down below. And don't forget to like, share the video and hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.